This is E.T., and this is Milo of Croton, renowned in Greek mythology for his strength, wrestling prowess, and military leadership. Milo led a successful charge against a tyrant of a nearby city after being requested to do so by Pythagoras. You remember him, the philosopher? He's passed on to us the round earth theory and a theorem named after himself, which, by the way, would be recited later on film by a very brainy guy who got it wrong. Milo's fame, however, rests to a large extent on his exercise protocol that resulted in increased strength and places Milo in contention for the title Father of Isotonic Progressive Weight Training, better known as Pump and Iron. What Milo's reported to have done, according to Pliny the Elder, was to each day carry a young bull calf, which each day grew heavier, thus demanding of Milo greater exertion, which in turn resulted in Milo's increased strength and hypertrophy. That's a new term for muscle growth. So do you understand? A theory understood over two millennia ago was not dreamed up by Bob Hoffman or Joe Weider. Milo was sired by a regular human, but his strength feats would be compared favorably to the demigods. For instance, Heraclitus, Hercules, whose paternity, according to myth, was divine. So other mere mortals became fired up to train and eat right, as did Milo. Oh, regarding diet, Milo was reported by the historian Salinas to have eaten in preparation for an event up to 20 pounds of amino acid-rich meat daily. 2,000 years later, Vince Gironda would recommend the same. Milo also ate the occasional gizzard stone, the first in a line of mostly worthless supplements. The lesson of Milo is this. He was the, or among the, first to demonstrate that a human being with proper diet and exercise could compete with the demigods. This is E.T. Hit the like button, or if you have to, the dislike, but do subscribe.